haven't been streaming in a little more than a week now. Uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, I've just been working a lot of overtime at work, and uh, when I'm not doing that, I've been uh, working on a video game with my friend uh, in Unreal Editor. It's uh, going to be a third-person shooter. We don't have a name for it yet, really. We've brainstormed quite a few, but I don't know if we've settled on anything definitively. But um, it's going to be a fun one. Class-based, six characters or classes. Each one's going to have uh, two different primary web weapons that you can switch between, um, like loadout-wise, like TF2 loadout almost, uh, and then abilities that you can swap out to. Um, two abilities, each one has three options. We haven't gotten quite that far. We have a few abilities and a couple characters for testing purposes. Mostly been trying to work on, uh, I've been working on the map. Uh, we're going to have one map so I'm trying to make it really good it's kind of like a few maps in one because the, the game mode and shit but uh, it's looking like you know we're gonna be able to do it so as long as we keep grinding away at it I'm actually uh, thinking of showing it off a little on stream at some point, but I'll wait until it gets just a little bit further along. <coughs> <coughs> Trying to draw a lot of um, inspiration level design wise from like TF2 and Overwatch and Portal even. Um, <coughs> should be good stuff. Anyway, so I picked up an Akura. It arrived in the mail yesterday. And for those of you who don't know what it is, it's a HDMI solution for the Dreamcast. Basically, was picking up because I'm curious. I, you know, a lot of people say it's great. A lot of people say there's no difference, no noticeable difference. I don't know. I noticed the difference immediately. Um, but I was using a cheap VGA cable, one of those Tome, Tome VGA cables, uh, into one of the mini converters. Um, I'm going to knock some shit over if I try and pull out those wires. Anyway, this look, the image looks crisper. It looks better. Um, and a feature that I didn't even pick it up for, the scan liner. Uh, I tried some games with it on, and a lot of them look really fucking good with the scan liner on and it totally like pff, brings me back to you know playing these games on an old CRT uh, <clears throat> TV at the time so they're like they're higher resolution higher frame rate than back then but they have the scan lines and it's just that's all it takes is to just bring you back you'll see you'll see I'm gonna pop it open we'll play some games Also been trying out this uh, Mountain Dew Ice. It's pretty much just Sprite. But it's good. I actually I went back for seconds, so you can tell immediately. If you've watched my other streams. You can see the scan lines in there now. Um, I think it even helps this menu look, you know, more authentic, more retro. So, we'll, uh, what was I playing earlier? Oh, yeah, I was playing Check Grind Radio, but we'll play some res with this on, because I still owe you guys some res, and uh, I think it'll look pretty tight with this effect. Just, I mean, it, doesn't that look sick? So I think I'm gonna leave it on. There are some games that I think look better with that, with it off, but for the most part, I think shit looks really cool with the scan lines, and I'm gonna leave it on when I stream because, you know.
<laughs> what am I? I was pretty sure I got hit right before I killed him, but then I killed him. This must be like right before you die or some shit. Hmm. <laughs>